study lecture I am going to factorize 9 2a minus b whole square minus 4 2a minus b minus 13. So let's see the answer. So here writing the given first 9 2a minus b whole square. After that 4 2a minus b and minus 13. So we can easily achieve the output if I assume x equal to 2a minus b now after that write here 9 so this x s square next is 4 x minus 13 now see equation it's looking quite simple after that multiply first term with the last term so 9 x square into minus 13 so it come so it come 117 ok minus 117 x square now thereafter take here middle term so middle term is minus 4x so minus 4x we can write 9x plus 5x so it's equal to minus 4x but when I multiply minus 9x into 5x so it come minus 45x square so this two is not the same so we cannot take this combination so if that same then we can take if that not same then we cannot take so next here we can write minus 13x plus 9x so if you subtract it equal to minus 4x and uh, here when you multiply 13x into 9x it equal to minus 117x square okay so this two are same so we can take this combination so writing here 9x square in place of minus 4x writing minus 13x plus 9x minus 13 now thereafter here take the common so between these two x is the common so we can write 9x minus 13 between these two 1 is the common so 9x minus 13 now here you can get so let's take here 9x minus 13 common between these two so here you can get x plus 1 after that here x that I assume 2a minus b So x that I assume to a minus b. So writing curly bracket 9 in place of x we can write 2a minus b minus 13. The next is 2a minus b plus 1. Now the next is multiply 9 this with uh, this twos. So 9 into 2 that is 18a, 9 into b minus 9b, after that minus 13 and next is 2a minus b plus 1. So this is the factorization of this equation and this is the way we can do the factorization. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.